it wasn't nice. So originally, I just view the the famous uh, Don Zager's uh, proof about the older uh, older from material from number fifty. Uh, although it's five years ago, and I never see this video. And the professor explained uh, some explained uh, some idea of this proof, but uh, he haven't explained it for detail. So I want to present my own video that explain all the detail idea that Don Zager uh, used like one sentence to prove that every prime of uh, 4k plus one is sum of the two positive uh, integers. And then my, uh, my YouTube video usually do the mathematics and the physics and some coding. Hope you guys subscribe to my channel. Okay, so let me just click, you could explain in the aggregate the number theory of a material on number two squares that odds prime can be even explained uh, px x cross plus y square uh, with x and y square if only if p equals one mile four. Okay, so this theorem uh, can be proved by, uh, so I think I, I, I previously have a video using the Minkowski theorem, basically some geometry idea to prove it, but I uh, need to use some algebraic approach or basically you can do the pure number theoretical way use the induction, right? But Don Zager come up with so amazing proof that only so amazing that nobody, <laughs> so nobody can, can, can what, whatever imagine. Okay, so this is the original uh, paper that uh, uh, I copied. So Don Zager, so basically the sentence is that this S, right? So uh, it's the so-called inver inversion, and you know that S has some odd fixed, uh, odd fixed number, so you can prove it. So I will explain the detail uh, step by steps. Okay. Okay. So let's start. Okay. So the quickly. So the idea is that the uh, Fermat order or the Fourier Omet. So every uh, prime number, which is one mile four, can be expressed can be expressed into sum of two sum of two positive integers. Okay, so for example, five is one square plus two square, and uh, the next is 13, right? 13 is two square plus three square. 17 is uh, one square plus four square. Okay, so idea is that we, we want to prove this by using the Don Zagger's idea. Okay, but in order to do this, we need to do some, uh, we need to do some uh, lemma, okay? So <clears throat> let me explain. So if I, if, if I say phi S to S, it's called inversion, uh, in involution. So involution means that uh, uh, if this is a definition, if this phi of x acting on phi of x will be x. So basically, I should say a function is its own inverse. Okay. So I think one can check that uh, if phi is involution, then phi must be one to one. Okay. So first one is phi must be one to one. The reason is that uh, uh, so I want to prove that if x is not the same as y, then phi of x must be the same as must be different from phi of y. Okay, the reason is that, uh, so proof is that uh, you can prove by contradiction. Suppose phi of x is phi of y, then you take phi, you get x equals to y. Okay, if you take y, right, you get x equals to y, which is a contradiction. And the second is that you can check that phi is onto. So uh, let's say you given y belongs to s, you need to, you want to find x such that uh, phi of x equals to y. But this is trivial, right, because you just take x equals to phi of y. Then phi phi of y, phi phi of y the same as y, okay. So uh, when you come from s to s, it's involution which you can prove that is one one on two, okay. Okay, now we have a lemma, which is a uh, Don Zager uh, will use. Basically, if s is a finite set and you from s to s, and uh, uh, I think we only need this one, okay. Then the and s is uh, fine, uh, finite and the uh, s is odd. The number is uh, just is odd. Then uh, there is a fixed point. Okay, so fixed point means that uh, there is x belongs to s such that phi of x is just x. Okay, this is called fixed point, and there is a fixed point. Uh, the reason is very simple, right? Because x and the phi of x all, always count in, count in pairs. Uh, if phi of x is not the same x x, then always count in pairs, right? But s is odds, right? So only has so there it must be some fixed point such that phi of x equals x. Okay. Uh, I'm not saying that uh, there are multiple or not. I just say that there must exist at least one fixed point. Okay. Otherwise, that uh, 
the S will be even. Okay. Okay. So lemma two, lemma. So this is uh, come from Dante, come from the set that uh, we define, right? So this is so amazing that uh, it come to give you a prime, then you ask what is the possible solution for this x squared plus two y z. Okay, and then your x, y, and z must all be a uh, positive integer. Okay, so the lemma say that uh, s is finite. Okay, so this is trivial, right? Because uh, p is finite, right? So a uh, p is a some fixed number, and then your x, y, and z are all, all positive, right? So there's there are uh, this x and y z must be bounded. So, uh, uh, right. For example, this x is bounded by uh, square root of p, and there is, you can also find a bound for y and z. So basically, uh, there's must be finite solution. Okay. But we haven't proved that s, s is odd, right? This is this is uh this is the missing part that the number three uh, didn't uh, didn't give you. Okay. So uh, now uh, we come to a proof. Okay, so uh, go back to the Don Zegers idea. He pre present uh, three kinds of sets, right? So which is A, 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 B, and C. So uh, we should view these two. Uh, okay, so I can define, uh, let's define three sets. One is X, Y, Z, where it belongs to solution, such as X less than Y minus Z. And the B is uh, X, Y, Z belongs to a solution, such that uh, Y minus Z less than X less than 2Y. And then one can define C to be X, Y, and Z belong to S such that uh, X greater than Y. Okay, so uh, uh, the claim is that the uh, claim is that uh, S, this solution is actually the, uh, is actually the, the union of these three, okay? Okay, so you can see that uh, it seem, this is uh, it's a partition, right? Because S lands and Y, Minus z and the y minus z must be less than two, uh, right? So you need to, in order to prove this, the only way, the only uh, worry is that these two might be the same. It, it, uh, if for every case that these two are not the same, then b is, b must be separated from a and b, right? Because you see that y minus z and two y this make a boundary, right? So s x, uh, if y minus z and different from two y, then either x greater than two y or less than this, or it falls into this, right? So the only worry is that uh, you might worry that uh, uh, y minus z equals to two y. Okay, or uh, yeah, this is the the, the thing that uh, you might yeah, you might worry, right? But uh, but I mean, this will improve y plus z zero. Right, so this is impossible. Okay, and uh, and uh, also you might worry that uh, so you might worry that there is a point which falls into boundary. For example, uh, for example x. Uh, is uh, y minus z, okay? So uh, you can check that if x is y minus z, then uh, your p will be x squared plus 4yz. So you get uh, y minus z squared plus 4yz, which is y plus z squared. So if, if then the p is not prime, okay? So this is also contradiction. And uh, you might also worry that uh, x equals 2y. So uh, if x equals to 2y, then p will be 4y squared plus 4yz, which you can pull out 4y, then, then p is not prime. Okay, and uh, by the way, p is even. Uh, p is odd, inte uh, odd integer, right? So now we prove that s is separated by this abc3 part. Okay, so, uh, the, and then there is a map that the uh, professor defined, which you, you may map x, uh, map to y into these three parts. Okay, so it seems, so, uh, so all we need to prove is that, uh, all we need to check is that uh, this phi of s is indeed an involution, okay? It's an involution. Uh, sorry, involution. Okay, just let me just write uh, write down. So maybe uh, if you, you, you can check the paper, but I, I still need to I, I write, write it down. Okay, so this is uh, x, y, z belongs to C. This is x, y, z belongs to B. This is x, y, z belongs to A. Okay, so you get three, three of them, okay? This is the definition. And then we want to claim that this is involution. And uh, so the, the first part is that we need to prove that S maps S. Okay, so uh, this is a little bit uh, boring, but you can check that 5A is a subset of C. 5b is a subset of b, and then 
C is a subset of A, right? So we can prove that the file S is basically a subset of S. Uh, I think this, this, this chapter is a little bit boring, so uh, I will post the reference that I, I got, but uh, I mean, you, you, you can check by yourself, right? This is just a, just a little, just a boring, the, the boring proof, okay? And, uh, okay, so this is a boring proof. And then let's let's check that the phi is uh let's check that phi is the involution. Okay. Uh maybe let's do this. Let's check that phi is the involution. So check phi is the involution is also it's almost trivial. So let's check it. Uh let's check it. Right. So uh let's let's say. Uh, for example, if I want to check, let's say, uh, for example, let's check for one. So x, y, z, let's say x, y, z belongs to a, and uh, now phi of x, y, z will become uh, x plus two z, z, y minus x minus z. Okay, so let's call it u, v, w, okay? And uh, by previous days, I say phi of a be mapped to c. Okay, this is all you need to check. So you need to just check proof list. You just compute this. Okay, so you, you check that phi of u, v, w, where become u minus 2v, u minus v plus w, and uh, v, and then you put u, right, u is x plus 2z minus 2z, and the uh, x plus 2z minus z plus y minus x minus z, and the v, which is uh, z. Okay, and uh, this is x, and uh, this is x plus 2z minus z plus y minus x minus z, right? So x cancel, z cancel, cancel, right? So this is yz. Okay, so this is just one uh one simple proof, uh one simple calculation that uh, you can prove that, uh, uh right, and you can also check that uh you can also check that the uh, five b. Uh, if you take five b twice, then you get b. Okay, so uh I think I don't I don't have to I don't have to check here, but uh, you can check uh, by yourself. Okay. Uh, maybe. Okay, I mean that's that's. Let's skip it. Uh, I mean, let's quickly check. Okay, so for example, you can add uvw equals to five x y z, which is two y minus x y uh, x minus y plus z. And you can check if you do the same thing for uvw again, you get two y minus x, right? So you get two y minus two y minus x, and y, right? Just put y here, and uh, uh, x minus y plus z, which is a uh, two y minus x minus y plus x minus y plus z okay so this is x this is y you can see that y cancels and z okay so now you can check that for c parts you also have five of uh, five c equals to c okay so uh yes so five is the evolution okay then the proof is done right so the reason is that uh so now we come up with we know that all the s is partitioned into a union b union c and we know that five s map to s is evolution uh, and uh, okay, right? So we know that S must be odd. Okay, S must be odd. Okay. So there is a uh, there is a fixed point. Uh, the fixed point mean uh, means that uh, uh, phi of x, uh, y z, map into x y z. Okay. So uh, we know what we know that the uh, phi of b. Uh, it's only five will be into B, right? So that means that uh, the fixed point must lie lies in B. Okay, so this X, Y, and Z, this fixed point, let's say fixed point is X, Y, Z, must belongs to B. Okay, let's let's see uh, what is B, right? So B looks like this. Right, so B has X, Y, Z, and the X squared and Y, Y, Z, and X less than two, Y. Uh, okay, and uh, so this is B, right? So which means that uh, let me just write down right. So b, so b has a b is a two y minus x, y and the x minus y plus z, right? This must be equals to x, y and z. Okay, which tell you that y minus y must be x and the uh, right and what, right? <laughs> right, you can check this is the same as this. So this is the same. This is the same. Okay, so y must be the same as x, okay? So our equation p becomes uh, x squared plus 4yz because uh, uh, x squared plus 
uh, y minus y, y must be equal to x, right? So it's x squared plus 4xz, which is x, x plus 4z. Okay, and the p must be what? p is 4k plus 1, right? 4k plus 1. So, so uh, now you write a prime number into two products, and the least is less than a least, right? And then all the positive. So which prove that x must be 1, and the x plus 4z must be equals to p. Okay. So which proof what? Which proof that uh, your your end solution must be uh, so your solution must be one right x is one y is one and the z is uh, I don't know let's let's call it k okay okay so now uh, we we get a we get a right so this is uh, this is this is uh, the fixed point. Okay, so uh, basically I just compute a fixed point, but uh, actually it's not important, right? All you need to know is that uh, you use this phi as an evolution to prove that, uh, so finally you know that the uh, phi is an evolution, right? So S is, uh, uh, S is finite and S is odd. Okay, then you can define another evolution, which is, uh, let's say this is phi, basically map S to S by just flip the, the second the second and third, right? So obviously that this uh phi this phi is also the involution because uh, uh it's trivial right because you just flip these two so there is a solution here so it's here and uh, yours you remember that this is your equation okay so this is a uh, involution so you also must have some fixed point right so it has a fixed point uh so it's fixed point must be y equals to z okay so your fixed point is y equals z so you get p is x squared plus 4y squared, which is x squared plus 2y squared p. So we find a solution, okay? Yeah, so this is the proof that, uh, so this is the whole idea that uh, you start from this Don or a uh, very, very canned function. This phi, you can use this phi to prove that S is finite. Uh, sorry, I proved that S is uh, S is odds number because the phi is involution. And then you prove and you come up with the non involution. And you use this evolution to say that uh, the fixed point will give you the solution of original uh, p equals to, uh, or the or the original prime can be written as a sum of two uh, num uh, positive squares. And this is almost all the detail that uh, that you need to know. You just come up with ABC and uh, partition your S, and uh, you prove that, and you just manually compute that uh, S coming to S, which for, I mean, it's very <laughs> difficult to come up with this A and B and C. Probably you need to uh, work in the field. I mean, you, you are a genius working in the field. I mean, at 10 years, come up with this kind of idea. Okay, so see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys subscribe to my channel.